Can you maybe share a bit on the mistakes you made along the way? Before I started, I knew like you have to put in the work. So I'd already started working with a store. And when I had first call with my coach, he said, we're going to a different country, different market. <laughs> so uh, that was a big mistake from my side. Part of it. So uh, first month when I started, I did 73K or something. Okay, crazy. So you start from zero, then first month 73K. How did that go for you? So you have to create a small roadmap of where you are at that moment and where you want to go. With the first 10,000 uh, euros, I thought, well, if I can do it for 10,000, I can make 100 as well. So how was month two for you? In day six, my first 10k day came in. Wow. And on day nine, my first 20k day came in. Crazy, man. I didn't go that fast when I started. Owning a store comes with a couple of problems on my end because I try to scale myself which isn't possible. <laughs> E-com and especially dropshipping is filled with obstacles. Then again, it's good that you have this coaching. We help you with everything. Still, it's a journey. Yes, my people, welcome to another interview. This one is very good because the results were very good. So interview with Mike. Mike had a gym business. He had some very hard times during COVID, but guess what? He came out of it and said, okay, I'm going to make a change right now. I don't want this no more. And he, decide, and he decided to go for Ecom. Well, he also made another good choice and that was to join our program. And what happened then? Mind blowing, bro. Within his first month, he went to 73,000 euros. And guess what he did the month after? Exactly one month after starting, he hit his first 20k day, 20k day. And then in just a time span of two months, he managed to do 820,000 euros. While I'm recording this, he is still in the program, not even finished, but bro, he will end the program with over a million in revenue. How crazy is that, right? Well, that's what happens when you decide to invest in the best in the game. All right, enjoy this interview. All right, guys, I'm here with a client of mine, Mike. Um, yeah, I heard amazing stories uh, from him. I see results of him. Uh, his coach told me, OK, Samuel, you need to hop with him on an interview to dive a bit deeper into his backstory and also what he is doing uh, right now. So, uh, Mike, how are you? Yes, I'm doing fine. What about you? <laughs> yeah, good, good. Not too bad. Just arrived in, uh, in Marbella and uh, excited to now uh, have you on this call. So um, yeah, just for, for the people, maybe you can uh, tell a little bit uh, about yourself, where you come from, and uh, also what led you to maybe finally find uh, Ecom. Well, first of all, uh, yeah, my name is Mike. I'm uh, 35 years old, just uh, became 35 years, like two weeks ago, last week, two weeks ago. Um, yeah, uh, on a daily basis, I work in, uh, in my own uh, gym where I just uh, do my daily business and my daily jobs. Um, nothing special, just like everybody else. Um, yeah, I just uh, hopped on uh, this, uh, this uh, new adventure uh, via Instagram like three months ago, I think. Yeah, like the 9th of April. And yeah, so... Um, yeah, I just started with this uh, e-com business and, uh, well, yeah. <laughs> well, what made you want to start e-com? Because you have a gym business, uh, was there maybe an urge of, okay, I also want something that maybe I can scale more, uh, do more, get more free time? What was it for you? Well, to, uh, to be honest, uh, um, if you look uh, to the bigger brands like my protein and stuff, if you have a gym, it's easy to sell those, uh, those products like physically. To, uh, to your customers, to your clients. But um, yeah, uh, I was just investigating uh, my options to get it uh, done online. So um, yeah, that being said, I just uh, opened up a Shopify store and uh, yeah, just right from the batch, uh, I just did without uh, putting any energy in it. I just did some sales like in the first uh, two or three weeks. But um, I didn't put in the work I needed to do, so uh, yeah, it just dropped down as well. Only my uh, my clients from the gym itself they ordered from the store, which is good. But mm. yeah, uh, just so, seeing some so, uh, some videos. Uh, 
So you tried your own uh, fitness brand or supplement brand? Or? No, just I just uh, um, I have a contract with uh, a big supplier here in the Netherlands, and um, yeah, it wasn't uh, I wasn't allowed to uh, to sell it online, but I just did it in my uh, my store, my shop. Mm -hmm. um, also, to um, um, yeah, what's it called? Um, I just wanted to to uh, uh, make the payment process uh, like a little bit quicker with. Um, ideal and credit card instead of uh, customers paying me cash so um, yeah that being said uh, people could just uh, uh, put in an order and uh, I'll just uh, I just had the product ready at the gym so they can pick it up that was the mm. that was the idea behind it so yeah. uh, you're 35 now uh, uh, Looking back, what what have you done in uh, the past years? Have you always been uh, like self-employed, or did you do uh, work different jobs? Um, yeah, well, I did a couple of different jobs until I was uh, 26. Yeah, um, in September 2016, I started uh, my own uh, first gym. Uh, I did that for like two years and um, made a couple of mistakes. <laughs> so. Uh, yeah, so after that, uh, um, I had the opportunity to buy a, a different one in my hometown, which I did. And uh, yeah, that went pretty well. Um, yeah, after that, everybody knows that COVID came and uh, we had to close the door for like uh, 11, almost 12 months. And that was, uh, yeah, kind of tough. But after that, uh, yeah, we just came back again and... Uh, yeah, just uh, ran the business like before and uh, without any problems. But uh, yeah, if you if you're doing some uh, something like for a couple of years, then uh, yeah, sometimes you see like opportunities uh, passing by, and uh, it's it was my choice just to pick uh, pick the what, opportunity. What was was there anything you learned from that art period or some uh, things you, that changed maybe your perspective? Um, because I can imagine it, uh, of course, uh, I've been through hard times myself as well. I learned many things from it. So maybe there are things you learned that right now, maybe you're different, you're more hungry, more disciplined, or maybe in a different way. Um, yeah. Um, the thing that I learned was uh, uh, when you're in a business and um, you're not able to make your own decisions, that is a, a pretty hard business to run because uh, yeah, if people decide to shut down your business like tomorrow, then you're totally fucked. Yeah. And um, yeah, the online online business, uh, like everything exploded during that time. So um, yeah, <laughs> I think people say the sky is the limit in uh, e-com space, but uh, after the last three, three months, I really believe it is. Yeah. Because the crazy thing from my perspective now talking with you is um, like you at the gym and then COVID hit and it was very hard and I was in e-com during COVID and it blew up, right? So just to see also the other side of the coin, but then now fast forward to have you in e-com as well and, and doing good is, is crazy, right? So for just the people uh, watching uh, to this podcast, can you tell maybe like what some of the numbers uh, are that you were able to do now with Ecom? Uh, yeah, it's, I think it's good for them to know. Well, um, yeah, just to start off uh, with, uh, before we go to the numbers, it's like um, I knew bef before I started, I knew like uh, you have to put in the work. So um, uh, before I just signed up, uh, I already uh, saw a couple of videos and um uh, so I'd already started working with uh, a store. And um, when I had the first call with my coach, he said, we're going to a different country, different market. <laughs> so uh, that was a big mistake from my side. Wait, was, what was you do? What were you doing? Yeah, I was just, uh, uh, what's it called? Like, uh, I was eager to, to start, you see. So I, I opened up uh, a Dutch store, a dot .nl store. But uh, my coach told me to go to uh, to a different uh, country to start selling and uh, building a store. So um, yeah, the first month uh, when I started, I did for like seventy three k or something in revenue. Wow! 
This, that's pretty good. Was it from complete zero and with a new uh, yeah. strategy with the general strategy? Yes, just the general. Uh, just good. everything. Um, um, everything from the course I just uh, implemented, and uh, yeah, my coach was also uh, pretty hard for me in, in the beginning, and <laughs> me a couple of times that uh, I had to step up the game. Yeah, because, um, I was lacking on numbers and lacking on uh, on data. So, <laughs> uh, yeah, and then. Uh, the, the because agent. just just uh, for context, um, before when you started with us, you, the only thing online you tried was with your own uh, uh, products with the, for the gym, or did, was it just in store? No, it was it, the 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 thing was is um, I, I I opened up a Shopify store because um, it was um, yeah it's almost easy. As, there's nothing easier than open up a Shopify mm -hmm. store because the templates are already there. So I only had to put in the products and all the payment services and stuff are in there as well. That is the only thing I have an experience for uh, Shopify. Okay, crazy. Okay, so you start from zero, then uh, instantly you, uh, of course, join our program. First month, 73K. How did that go for you? Because in the beginning, it's like Wild West. You don't know anything. Everything <laughs> seems crazy, right? But still, you managed to do pretty solid numbers. How, how did that go and feel uh, for you? Um, I, I learned that the, the numbers are just numbers. It's not like uh, cash in your pocket. So, um, yeah, you, you have to uh, create a, a small roadmap of where you are at that moment and where you want to go. So uh, with the first uh, 10,000 uh, euros, I thought, well, if I can do it with 10,000, I can make 100 as well. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. How, how did month, uh, the following months uh, go? Maybe you can walk me through it and maybe also uh, share uh, some of the strategies, like in what market are you in? Um, is it like really general, like fashion, but also gadgets? Or is it more like fashion oriented, uh, if you want to share, of course? Well, yeah, it's uh, mainly men fashion. And uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, it's, it's just a general fashion uh, uh, store. Um, yeah, it's only one store also, but um, mm. yeah, the thing is that uh, there are a lot of hiccups down the road before you get uh, to the first <laughs> MK and but yeah, I managed to do so to do so, but uh, it, it took me a, a lot of time, daily time, and I'm glad I have the time to uh, to work on the store. So yeah. So how was month two for you? Well, the May challenge started uh, in May, of course. So uh, I thought, yeah, well, let's go. So I uh, worked almost double hours in the first two weeks. And uh, like in day six, uh, my first 10K day came in. Wow. And uh, on day nine, my first 20K day came in. So it went pretty, pretty hard. Uh, day day nine of, of the month of May was this. Yeah, yeah. So exactly wow. like like exactly one month after I started, I did my first twenty k day. Yeah, crazy man. You can be proud on that. I didn't go that fast when I started. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I, I can't help it. I, it just uh, I just uh, listened to the to the coach and uh, mm -hmm. yeah he told me to do a couple of things just to optimize my uh, my process and uh, there we go. So, uh, okay, you go in a very short period of time from zero to uh, doing a 20k day, which is crazy, but it moves fast. So, uh, uh, well, what, what came with that? Because did you already build, build a team uh, of, or did you start hiring? Uh, did there come any problems with scaling this, this fast or was you able to maneuver this uh, properly? Um, owning a store... Uh, uh comes with a couple of problems on, on my end because uh, I try to scale myself, which isn't possible. <laughs> so uh, yeah, there were a couple of days that I started at six in the morning and I ended like 11 in the evening. Wow. And uh, well, yeah, uh, after that, like at day 15 or 16, I started hiring people from uh, Pakistan and uh, yeah, day 16, I started uh, hiring people, I see. So uh, after that... Do you keep track uh, of everything? 
well, not everything, but only uh, I see the dates of the mm. uh, on the list that I made. So yeah, nice. Yeah. So um, yeah, after that, everything went pretty smoothly, and uh, I, I easy to uh, I could maintain the, yeah. the 15, 15 plus days, fifteen k plus days. So, Sick. Uh, that was how, kind of cool. How 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 uh, were you feeling at the time? Uh, do are you like ecstatic, like wow, this is crazy? Because uh, for, I, for many people, for me included, when I did even my first 10k day, it was a huge milestone. But you did it I, literally like that in in four weeks. It's it's fast to do it. So to then do or to already consolidate and like back to back like 15k plus days. How was that for you? Because uh, yeah, you you have your, your experience with your gym business before, but this is something completely new. How was that? Um, to be honest, uh, a bit, uh, uh, yeah, I wasn't euphoric or something like that because uh, my goal is not to reach like a 20k day or something. My goal is like to build something for the next couple of 30 uh, years. Yeah. So, um, yeah, the goal is, uh, the, the, yeah, my goal is like a, an amount of, 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 of money uh, that I need for uh, the rest of my life. Mm. So and yeah, I'm not there for a, for a long time, I guess. But uh, no, but you have to uh, enjoy along the way, right? Yeah, that's that's true. Also, that's true. Also, yeah. Yeah. So, so can can you share more on what what your goal is? Um. Well, yeah, uh, I think that uh, there's nothing. Uh, something like a passive income doesn't exist really because you, you always have to work for it. So it's, it will never be passive, but my goal is like to build a sustainable business, like a brand or something. Yeah. Um, well, yeah. And I just want to work with a team. You see, I just want to, want to see something grow. That is the, that is the thing that I like the most. If you just, uh, start something and it grows, well, that's, that's pretty, pretty awesome to see. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, along the way there has to be, uh, you have to earn some money of course as well. But, um, yeah, my, yeah, my goal is uh, something for a lifetime. What, what are your, um, or first let's move to the months afterwards because it's been four months now since you joined, right? Um, or less. Well, well today, less. Uh, 9th April, uh, May, June. Yeah, this, yeah. It's like three months now. So, uh, how, how did the past months go? Uh, well, uh, the month May uh, um, ended up with uh, 440k in revenue. Oh, very nice. And June, like 300. Okay. So, uh, it went a little bit uh, downward because I had some uh, troubles uh, down the road, but yeah. What, what what are the moves right now that you are making, right? Because uh, you have these uh, bigger goals, right? So what are you doing to, to go there? Um, at the moment, I'm working on uh, my second and my third store and uh, expanding uh, my team. So I think I hope that I'm reaching the same uh, 20, 20 or 30K days like in a month from mm -hmm. now. But then I want to have the 30K days for like 30 days in a row. Well, can you share maybe uh, your team right now or who, who are the people you have uh, uh, helping you to, to do these numbers at the moment? Um, at the moment, I have like uh, six people that I hired and they're all from uh, the Philippines. Okay. So they're helping me like creating uh, uh, the images for the advertising. Um, they're listing all the products. There, is, one is doing some research, and the rest are doing uh, customer service. Yes. Okay. Yeah. So, are there? All, can you maybe share a bit on uh, the mistakes you made along the way? Because, um, yeah, I, I can imagine with uh, doing those uh, numbers, um, of course, you 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 adapt quick. But I made a shitload of of mistakes. So maybe for the, the ones listening, uh, <laughs> you can just share a couple a couple of them, you know, because e-com and especially dropshipping is filled with obstacles. Then again, it's good that you have this uh, this coaching. We can uh, we help you with everything, right? But still, it's a journey. Um, yeah, uh, 
the, the biggest mistake that I made was like uh, not understanding the process of, uh, for example, customer service. Mm. Because um, <laughs> that is one of the yeah, most shittiest jobs that I, uh, that I can imagine. But uh, it's one of the most important jobs because uh, the customers are, uh, are making, uh, making sure that you're getting your money. And if they're not satisfied, they are returning or complaining or whatever. And so you have to do whatever it takes to uh, to make the customer uh, to fill their needs. If it's in a product or it, it is uh, returning a product or it's refunding a product, whatever it is. But you need to you need, you need to satisfy them. And uh, I started with a um, with an agency on that behalf. But uh, if I could do it over again. I would do it myself because yeah. I need it. now I need to, and now I need to understand the process. And now, yeah, now it's like handling like uh, 200, uh, 200 plus orders a day. And that's uh, a lot of work. Yeah. Yeah. hundred percent. Because uh, also when I look at my business, agencies are very nice to work with, but agencies are there to lay the foundation and then you bring it in house or with some parts of the business, never even bring on agents. For email, I've never brought on an agency because they don't really understand your uh, your store or uh, the product you offer. But especially when you run a brand, they don't. Uh, they, they, they just want to handle tickets as fast and as good as they they can, right? But yeah, yeah, yeah. To be honest, I'm not sure if I could handle it without the agency because I skilled that hard. Mm -hmm. But, but uh, yeah. It's okay to uh, look. If things work, then it works. I, uh, and you never want to change uh, stuff that works. So what, what I do want to uh, ask is, um, let's, let's say... Uh, uh, someone right now is uh, just started maybe doing a 1K a day. Uh, is already maybe a, a month or two in. That person is asking, why is Mike right now or uh, already in within four weeks, he did like a 20K a day. If you look at yourself and what you are doing with the business, what, what makes you or what you have done different and why did, did you go to those numbers if you look at it yourself? I think for... Uh for people who are watching this, uh, they are uh, validating like two times too many. Because um, if you are um, um, willing to take the risk and you know, f like for 100% sure that uh, one, one euro makes two euros, then you can understand that 10 euros make tw makes 20 as well. So uh, that being said, 100 makes 200 as well and 1000 makes 2000 as well. So for the people who are struggling like with cash flow and stuff, I think they should take the risk. Yeah, man. Mm. Just for spend, spending and investing like money in this business because uh, it, yeah, it will come out um, anyway, I guess. How did you handle cash flow for yourself? Did you all already have cash to back things up or uh, did you do it another way? Well, yeah, I did, I did have some savings, but um, in the first, the first month, um, like my paper was growing, uh, like, 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 a, yeah, I'm not sure how to pronounce it, but it went very fast and, uh, PayPal, you can just set on like a daily, uh, payoff. So every day money came in, but every day money, uh, went out as well. Because in what market are you? Uh, Germany. Mm, yeah, exactly. Yeah. So your your new stores? Are you also gonna do uh, uh, Germany for that, or no? The second one I tried in a different country, but I'm switching to uh, uh, England, the UK. Okay, that's or, good. Um, maybe something like around there, something I'm not sure yet. I have to discuss it with my coach still. So talking about like uh, your coach and the coaching overall, like how was the 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 program for you? Um, yeah, it was uh, very clear because uh, my coach uh, just made um, every call we had. Uh, he just uh, wrote down a couple of uh, bullet points, which I had to improve. And like five days later, we had a, uh, the next call. So, um, yeah, those bullet points were just the most important things to handle um, every five to seven days. 
and it's it was just like picking up those points and just improving on yeah. the, uh, those points. And was that something for you that really worked well uh, instead of, for example, keeping things more vague, like that you really had like a structured, okay, this is what you need to do. And then you have your coach behind you also keeping you accountable. Um, <clears throat> uh, yeah, because uh, my coach is just asking constantly, uh, did you do this already? Did you do this or, that already? And um, well, yeah, on the, on the other side, I'm asking questions every day as well. So I think that uh, the connection between the coach and myself is pretty good at the moment. Mm. Just from the start already, so uh, I guess I was lucky on that point. <laughs> That's good. Good that you built uh, build relationship, you know, and because at the end of the day, um, the good thing about investing in a program like this is, of course, you have a, a coach that knows stuff, but it's not just the coach. The coach is also in touch with me, with uh, Dennis or other people in the team, and we share everything, right? So. If Mike is struggling with something, and uh, the coach can also uh, check uh, uh, in with us. Okay, uh, he is uh, dealing with this or that, right? So, and the network is so key. So I don't know if uh, um, because you completely new in in ecom, did you already connect with people, or maybe due to the, the program or the community, or are you really like a, a lone wolf type of guy? Um, I think I'm a lone wolf type of guy because. Um I like I enjoy uh, talking to people on the on the channel on the Discord channel, but um, yeah, the only person I'm talking with is uh, like uh, one two other guys from the from the course and, nice. uh, and my coach my coach as well. But, but other than that, it's uh, enough. My uh, my circle is very small, but good, you know. Um, but all uh, most of them are also in ecom. It's, it's valuable, you know, also so they can challenge you on the things you are doing as well, because especially when you're working a lot of hours on your store and uh, your, your, your e-com business, sometimes you don't really see clearly anymore because uh, you, you've just been on it and someone from a, a, uh, a other perspective can simply see, okay, this is what you need to do or why have you not tried that yet, right? So... Well, yeah, but that that is one of the main things that is uh, so super so so good uh, about this course as well because uh, the resources you're getting for like everything you need that is uh, yeah just fixed in like one hour or less. Mm, yeah, there all there's always a solution if you have a problem with uh, an advertising uh, an ad account or something else. There's for everything there's a solution and that is the thing I think that this this course is providing. Yeah. Good to hear, bro. So, what what are now right now? Maybe your future plans. I know you have uh, a, a big goals to, of course, set yourself good. Maybe the people around you, but uh, of course, money is, is just money. Maybe you have like uh, you want you want to uh, in the future move to a certain place, or there are may, maybe other uh, goals you have, or um, yeah, what are you what are you working towards? Uh, you know. Um. Open a crazier gym? I don't know. <laughs> no, 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 no. no. That, that's not a goal. <laughs> I'm pretty sure. Of. <laughs> no, I think uh, I think the ultimate goal is uh, when you decide decide on a Sunday morning. Well, let's let's go to uh, Spain in like yeah, two hours yeah. from now. I think yeah, that is that that's is the crazy. ultimate goal. Yeah, that is the ultimate goal, and um, it's just because of uh, just. To, uh, yeah, I think that is the ultimate freedom you can yeah. uh, li life can give you that you you don't have any boundaries to go uh, to to worry about. That is and uh, th that's uh, it. Yeah, and, and and that's what you can create with this. You know, if uh, I was just on the plane discussing this with my friends who also have like the same type of business as me, I say, how crazy is it that we are on this plane, money is coming in and there are multiple people right now working uh, for this, you know, and we are just here in the sky. It's crazy. And also the freedom that comes with it once you have everything set up. So it's a good, a good goal you know, to, to, to go towards. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that is uh, freedom. Something, uh, something for the future, but, uh, yeah, I but my <laughs> You know what you what what if there's one uh, thing I want to uh, also leave you with is um, you should be really proud of what you've done you know because uh, of course you have big goals I have big goals as well 
but um, at certain stages in my journey uh, what I maybe regret a little bit is not enjoying it enough you know because uh, in going in your first month to uh, 10k or 20k a day is insane and that's how you should look at it and that use that energy to go towards your next goal instead of looking at it you have your crazy goal here and everything that is not your big goal you are not really uh, ecstatic or you don't get you don't want to have that because then you will always live in a state of like lack like I'm not there yet and um, it is good to maybe drive you at times but it won't fulfill you right right now I have goals but still I enjoy the process and that's the best thing you you uh, you can have wow I take it as a pretty uh, good advice <laughs> yeah, you you need to, man. I see it. You should be very proud on, on on what you've done, man. I know there will be people watching this and think, "What the fuck? How has Mike done this so fucking quick, man?" Because it's now month three, and I think you, uh, if we uh, add the shit up, you already have like done uh, seven hundred and fifty thousand or something, or almost a, uh, nearing a million, maybe. Eight hundred already. Eight hundred already, so. right? It's yeah. yeah, it's crazy, bro. Yeah, something like that. It's like 790 or 800 almost today. Nice. Yeah, bro. So, um, no, I want to thank you for, for this uh, interview, uh, 100%. And, uh, yeah, bro, your results are, are sick, man. I just want to see you evolve even more, you know? <laughs> <laughs> well, we'll see. <laughs> it's going to happen, bro. You, need, you yeah. need to be confident in your in yourself and what you, you, you have done. I know with eco shit is just fast and sometimes it's hard to even stand still with what has happened, right? Well, yeah, I think that is the main thing because uh, uh, there's, n um, there's no difference between uh, mm. the only thing you want is like the every day, the hard profit. You only yeah. want to see the numbers. Yeah. And that's a good thing. That's a good thing because uh, if you're just in the, in the, in, in this like government mindset, yeah. Then, uh, we only want the number like in the last day of the month. You see, so <laughs> we work like every day for this uh, for this pay. I, I had the, I had the same, you know, when I started the first two years, maybe even three. I had so much limiting beliefs because also I had uh, like this nine to five mentality because I come from like a small village and everyone is like, uh, oh, it's uh, don't think outside of the box or things like that, right? But um, to to go to a different level and to create something completely different also your your life you also have to start to think a bit different and um i think that's one of the reasons i'm now uh, at this level you know i really attracted you attracted by the way you think so also for you you should al already be like i'm already go i i know it's gonna happen that, that's how you should think it's gonna happen uh, you know, because uh, if you do numbers like this um, in your first three months and you just make the calculation in your head, okay, I do this already in three months. What will be six? What will be 12? What will be one year? You know, that's how you should think about it. And also, bro, you just started. I know you, uh, you, you learned some shit, of course, with our help, but you are not like this five year in the game uh, e-com entrepreneur yet. Just imagine yourself being that, bro. It's... Then it's yeah. done. Yeah. Well, I, I imagine being that, but uh, <laughs> I'm just trying to be humble. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know, I know. It's, it's it, I'm being. That's what people also say to me. So, so I'll be humble. I'm humble. I'm humble, bro. <laughs> yeah. No, bro. I, I really uh, like this, and uh, yeah, just uh, keep pushing, man. I will see more of your results, and then uh, yeah, in the future uh, we speak again. Yeah, we will. All right, bro. Take care and uh, yeah, we keep in touch. Yeah. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.